California's lakes and reservoirs are almost at record lows. We are standing in front of Lake Oroville. I am with Jana Frazier. She is a tour guide with the Department of Water Resources. Jana, there's a great visual behind us. Tell us what is happening with Lake Oroville right now. Well, as we move through our fourth year of drought, you can see that the water level in the lake is continuing to drop every day between four and five inches. It'll drop in a 24 hour period. If we have to send pulses of water down through the Feather River, which you can actually see from here, down through the Delta for environmental constraint, we are dropping probably closer to eight or nine inches in a 24 hour period. So even though we've had rain falling, it's not falling in the right place where we can capture it in our reservoirs. So the lake is continuing to drop. We would like to see about this time of year, we wanna see it at that bathtub ring, which is about 50 feet below the tree line. That's where we would be full. 850, that gives us 50 feet of catching any snow melt, which we haven't had any snow for a few years, so we don't have to worry about that right now. So it's, it's getting pretty tight. The water level is not good. For people that have no idea that this is up here in the Sierra Nevada foothills, how important is Lake Oroville to the water supply? Lake Oroville is actually very important. We're the head of the state water project. So the majority of our water as we move it into the metropolitan water entities that are, that are down south, metropolitan water districts are going to put the water into the district homes, about 20 to 22 million people rely on the water for drinking water. There's going to be some ag use out of this water as well. But right now, with the drought, we're still pushing every, even though we're in winter and even though it's rained a little bit and it's really cold today, we're in drought still and you need to squeeze every drop out of every drop because as you can see behind us, we're not anywhere near full. We have about uh, 980,000 acre feet of water. When we're full, we're at three and a half million acre feet of water and an acre foot is one acre of land under 12 inches of water. So even though we have just under a million acre feet of water to play in for recreation, we should be just about full. We should be at about three million acre feet of water. Plenty of water to get us through the next year and right now we're not anywhere near. We do not have enough water in the reservoir to get through another year if we don't get rain. And speaking of rain, um, you keep saying the rain is not falling in the right places. In layman's terms, what are you talking about with that type of statement? What we want to see is when the rain falls that we can catch it in the reservoir. It's going to be on the, the western side of the Sierra Nevadas. If we're lucky, we'll get snow. So far, we've seen a little bit, but not really enough to make an impact. So when the rain falls, we want it falling around the foothills that go up into the forks of the Feather River. So when the water runs off, we catch it in the reservoir behind Orville Dam. At this point, we've had rain, but after three, four years of drought, the ground is so parched that the water just gets sucked up into the ground. There's not really any runoff. Okay, and snowpack, I think a lot of people also may not realize that what, what we really need is snow, right? And then when that snow melts, that is a benefit to somewhere like Lake Oroville. Exactly, because when the western side of the Sierra Nevadas have snowpack on in them, when that snow melts, that water's gonna move in through the forks of the Feather River. It's gonna flow into Lake Oroville, and then we capture the, the melt and the runoff because we haven't had the snow and we've had very little rain, we're not able really to capture or save hardly anything. There's, there's just really nothing moving in enough to capture, so to speak, it's just been too dry. Lake Orville's not gonna be filled up with one storm, two storms, even three storms. Correct. Is that a correct statement? That's a, that's a pretty fair statement. The problem that we have now again is, is drought, no snow, the ground's too dry, the water's just getting sucked up. So we need a series of very big storms that are dropping rain so we can fill the reservoir. But we also want to see that big snowpack in the Sierra Nevadas. And we've not seen much snow in the Sierra Nevadas for the past couple of years. So we're not getting that melt runoff. What we need in the mountains is the snow so that when we're letting the water out of Lake Oroville for the uses that it's, uh, we're going to apply it to, we need the backfill, which is melting snow. So even though we're letting water out, the lake stays level. And that it may sense. even continue to increase depending on what's going on. But we haven't had any snow, so when we let water out, there's nothing to come in behind to refill the lake.